Good evening and happy Friday, guys. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderfully blessed day. Most importantly, hopefully, you guys are having a safe day, guys. Wherever you're chilling at in this magnificent, beautiful world that we live in. This is your boy, Hamajin. I'm about to drop it like it's hot, baby, and break you off some doge and some overall crypto news. Guys, on this channel, I'll be letting you know what's going on in the wild, wild west of crypto. And if you're new to my channel, maybe you can consider to subscribe, maybe like or leave a comment or do neither one of those. I just appreciate you coming by and checking my channel out as a viewer. None of this is ever financial advice. Guys, it's just your boy sharing his thoughts and opinions. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, your boy is ready. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm about to break you guys off with the latest and greatest. Let's get it, baby. All right, guys, Bitcoin is down. We are 40 at 44,417.19 cents. We are down 4.5% for the day. Guys, we have broke under that crucial level of support at 45K. There's nothing to worry about still. Nonetheless, we still are sitting in the 40K, in the 40,000 range, right? In the mid 4,000s. So, I mean, you know what I mean? We're consolidating. We had a nasty dip. You know what I mean? Bitcoin is still trying to recoup from that. But nonetheless, guys, things are still looking good considering, you know what I mean? We were at, what, 29,000 about a month and a half, two months ago, right? And people even back then were saying that the bull run was over and we were going to go down to the mid 20s to... 10k is what one individual was saying on youtube so it is what it is guys you just gotta hold on to your big boy pants and continue to hodl all right guys enough of dogecoin for now or, or bitcoin for now let's get into the main superstar and that is dogecoin guys we are at 23 cents right we are up 0 0.063 percent we had a 24 hour low of 23 cents of where we're at now and we had a 24-hour high of 26 cents, guys. Our market cap is at 31.04 billion, and our volume in the last 24 hours is at 1.81 billion. So the volume has gone way down, and the market cap has gone down. We obviously need the bulls to step in and create buying pressure in order to push the price of Doge up. But guys, it is the weekend. Always less vol less volume, more volatility. So the price of Doge is more than likely going to fluctuate. You know what I mean? Up and down during the weekend all right enough of the stats guys now let's dive into the resistance and support levels here guys very crucial right so obviously guys let's get into support for now if you could see right here i have the red line okay that is the 200 day moving average guys as you can see we tested it yesterday and we bounced off of it right and support did what it was supposed to but as you can see today guys we are underneath that level of support right and as you can see also, we're not uh, one, two, three or four days ago, we tested it, right? We tested it three and four days ago and we bounced off of it, right? And support acted as support, right? And then we tested it again yesterday, right? And I, could, I always say, guys, every time you test, whether it's support or resistance, it's going to get weaker, right? So every time we test support, it gets weaker and weaker. Therefore, leaving the price of Doge vulnerable to dip below that level of support and as you can see we are currently just barely underneath that level of support but nonetheless we are under support which is not a good thing for now so guys support is sitting at 24 cents that is the 100 day moving average okay so now as far as resistance goes okay we have the uh 50 day moving average okay guys and that is acting as resistance right now and it is technically at point two uh two six where are we at here it's at point two six three zero right guys is what it was yeah two six three zero okay so that's you know what i mean around 26 cents i know that's only a two cents difference right from resistance and support right we have the uh 100 day moving average and that's at 28 cents guys but as you can see the reason why i'm using the 50 day is because if you look we tested this resistance yesterday the day before and the day before that we tested it three days in a row and we got rejected at this 50 day moving average Average. So we need to break past this level of resistance at the 50 day moving average at 20 at 0 0.2630 first, right? And then we got to worry about the 100 day moving average, and that is sitting at 28 cents. But we're not going to worry about 28 cents right now. First, we got to pass this hurdle, right? Which is resistance at 26 cents. All right, guys, now that's what I have for you guys as far as the levels of resistance supports go. Hopefully, it was uh, useful for you guys. Now, let's get into some fundamentals here, right, guys? 
So, guys, there is uh, NFTs now, right? And I'm going to show you mine, right? Because I bought uh, three of them, right? I bought three of these NFTs. Now, it says exclusive Matt Wallace, right? He has a YouTube channel, guys, right? He has over 150,000 followers. So, he's not some little uh, little YouTuber like me. <laughs> it says Matt Wallace says his NFT project, DogeX, will deepen ties between Dogecoin and Ethereum. All right, guys. Now, I just want to briefly show you real quick, guys that i am a part of the doge army and as you can see i'm going to show you i bought three nfts right uh doge x nfts right to be a part of the movement right and, and to be a part of this doge x community and part of the doge movement guys um so i just want to briefly uh come on man of course my stuff is acting slow here guys my apologies it's not letting me uh load up here what's going on hush guys of course, uh, oh, wow, what the heck's going on here? All right, let me try it one more time. All right, here you guys go. I don't know, my, sometimes in my backyard, which is where my office is, guys, uh, I tend to get crappy receptions, so it freezes up sometimes. All right, guys, so here you go. Here's one of my Doge's uh, NFTs. Here's the other one, and this one here is a little bit more rare, right, because they all have more rarity, right, like, uh, the backpack, right? It's a rocket backpack and the uh, the sunglasses, the helmet, so on and so forth, right? They have different uh, rarities to them, which make them, you know what I mean? Going to make them be worth more money down the road. But nonetheless, guys, I just wanted to show you, right, that I do own three NFTs uh, from the Doge X, um, the Doge, uh, from uh, Matt Wallace's Doge X, right? So now it says, YouTuber Matt Wallace said that his Doge X non-fungible tokens are helping introduce the Shiba Inu theme coin community to Ethereum blockchain. It says, the collection, the Wallace-backed Doge X NFTs claim to bring the Doge legend to life. The collection is made of 10,000 collectible characters on a mission to Mars, as per the collection's OpenSea description. The NFT series is made up of five sets of characters, Earth Doge, Moon Doge, Journey Doge, Mars Doge, and Asteroid Doge, each more progressively rarer than the last. Even rarer still are NFTs seemingly named after uh, Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, Shark Tank fame, Mark Cuban, and Doge creator, Billy Marcus. These are Elon Doge and Cuban Doge and Billy Doge. It says Wallace claimed that this was the highest quality NFT project with the most combinations that has ever been released. On one uh, on that rare do on the rare doges, and when the characters will be completely revealed, Wallace said they will be made public at a time they get minted. Someone actually got the Elon Doge, and then are still more of the rarest ones out there left to be minted. Hemmed by the exchanges, it says. Ironically, though the collection ce celebrates Doge, it cannot be purchased in the meme cryptocurrency as of now, as per Wallace. Dogecoin is the most amazing cryptocurrency, in my opinion. It has been hemmed into some degree by centralized exchanges, which currently inhibits some cool features, use cases, possibilities. Wallace is hopeful that the situation will change, and Doge has to connect with the ecosystem of blockchains. Now, on the Dogecoin Ethereum collaboration, right, guys? So it says, Doge X moves in this direction by introducing the Doge community to the ETH blockchain, said Wallace. As per the content creator, the metaverse Doge X is developing with deepened ties and work on creating products and services uh, that bridge ETH with Doge. Now, what they're getting at, guys, right, is because these NFTs had to be basically minted on the Ethereum blockchain, right? But with this bridge between Doge and Ethereum, they're working on scaling and making it possible for us to be able to mint nfts on actual doge um uh, blockchain right is what is what they're working at and trying to get at but as for now we're having to go through the ethereum blockchain in order to mint these nfts he described it as a good step in changing the game even more for dogecoin and that once the doge eth bridge is completely you will be able to buy a doge nft with tokenized dogecoin in an interview last month doge creator marcus hailed the theorem co-creator of italic Beetle and as a crypto genius and said he was excited when he found out the latter would be on the board uh they recently re uh re in reinvigorated dogecoin foundation in an advisory capacity counting on the community wallace acknowledged that the nfts are subject to volatility especially around the time a project is established we believe the metaverse and level community support for the series will raise our floor price over time he said on the utilization of the proceeds from nfts wallace revealed that the bulk of raised funds go to the metaverse development and toward the cost of designing a project which such an ambitious combinations of assets um so guys 
I thought this was pretty cool, right? And this can add, this can be a very positive catalyst for Doge, right? For the price of Doge, and either now or in the foreseeable future. Why? Because Doge has its own NFTs now, guys. This is huge, right? For us in the Doge community who support it and are behind it and are part of the Doge army. All right, guys. And as you can see, you know what I mean? I shared with you guys my three NFTs that I bought to support the project. All right, guys. Well, enough of the Doge... Uh, that's what I had as far as Doge. I didn't have too, too much uh, fundamentals in Doge, right, guys? So let's get into a little bit of crypto news, guys. Now, this here is very crucial and important, right, guys? Now, let's get into it. Now, it says BlackRock executive believes Bitcoin price could rise significantly. Now, who's BlackRock? You'll find out right now. And this is crucial, guys, because they're one of the most uh, biggest uh, hedge funds out there in America. They are the biggest Actually, I think in the world, if I'm not mistaken, it says on Thursday, Rick Ryder, CIO of Black, uh, BlackRock, said on CNBC's Squawk Box that he owns Bitcoin and that he believes its price could go up significantly in the future. It says on Thursday, Rick Ryder, CIO of BlackRock, said on CNBC's Squawk Box that he owns Bitcoin and that he believes the price could go up significantly in the future. An, ex an executive at the world's largest asset manager. Right, the world's largest asset manager boasting 9.49 trillion in assets under management, guys. Writer expanded on his thoughts about Bitcoin, describing it as an alternative currency whose future price movements is likely to be dictated by increased adoption. Part of why I own a small piece of Bitcoin is I do think that there are more people who are going to enter that fray over time. He said, I like assets that are volatile. Right, and we all know that Bitcoin is volatile, guys, and that have upside convexity. I see Bitcoin, like it has done, go up significantly. As a spe speculative tool, Ryder said that there is a value in holding some Bitcoin. In August, it was reported that BlackRock allocated over $382 million to shares of Bitcoin mining giants, Marathon Digital Holdings, and Riot Blockchain. Those are two companies, guys, that obviously mine Bitcoin here in America. An uncovered SEC filing dated June 30th shows that BlackRock bought significant shares of the Bitcoin mining companies, which it now holds in certain funds. BlackRock's continues interest in Bitcoin speaks to the influx of traditionally conservative large financial institutions leveling up their exposure to Bitcoin through traditional equity and other traditional investment vehicles such as Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. All right, guys, this is huge news, right, guys? Because why you have a CIO of one of the world, not one of the world, the world's biggest hedge fund institutional company is investing personally into bitcoin because he believes in it right guys this is huge right and this is a positive step towards uh just another positive catalyst uh for the adoption of doge of doge of uh, of bitcoin right and the crypto community all right guys this is what your boy hama g had for you on this friday hopefully it was informative useful and insightful guys go get yourself your nfts right there uh, there was ten thousand uh when i last checked there's i think like forty four thousand left right so 60 percent have already been sold in the last uh couple of days it hasn't even been a whole seven days guys and 60 percent are already sold so go get your nfts they are currently going for uh 0 0.08 which is around 300 around 300 dollars guys at ETH. so go check it out on open c or on metamask on open c all right guys stay safe and stay blessed your boy will be getting at you guys tomorrow peace